Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial of Delenium Marketing and today I'm going to show you how can you convert your low resolution images into high resolution vector format. Uh, even if your logo or images or whatever file you have, you can convert into high resolution just by following this step. For this, I'm using Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have, then you can download the trial version from the internet. First of all, go into the file, create a new document, and I'm just using the same specifications, and just press OK from, from here. And here, what you can do, just go into the file again and place your image that you are going to use uh, for this vectorization. So I'm going, uh, you can see that it's an image file that I am going to use to convert into vector. Just place it for uh, to match the original logo design. So what I'm going to do. Uh, I am just creating the copy by control C, control V, and here you can just uh, increase the size of uh, this logo design. Uh, and now, after scaling, now what I'm going to do, I'm just clicking on the image trace area from here. And here you can see the whole layer is gone away because the image tracing has been done. And now you will just uh, uh, what you will do, you will just click on it and you will change the preset. I'm going to black and white and uh, I'm using this and uh, now you have to manage the threshold. Threshold is basically create, uh, giving more precision to your image, uh, uh, more sharpen images uh, you will get after increasing and decreasing it depends upon the, uh, the image requirements or the image quality. So I'm going to decrease it so you can see it gets more sharpened. So what uh, I think 161 is enough for this image. So now I am going to unlock the layers. So uh, uh, you need to convert into, uh, you know, into layer option, uh, um, in, into layerable image, just expand it. And now right click on it by selecting the image and ungroup all layers. So you can see that the all layers have been ungrouped now. Now, what I'm going to do, I will just click on it and I will increase the size so you can see that the whole image or the lay all layers are broken up and uh, it becomes vector but if you are still not satisfied and some of the areas you want to work on then what you can do you can just click on it and here are you know uh, i am going to place a rough uh, background at the end of uh, sorry at the back of uh, this image to follow each and every layer has been uh, broken uh, sorry, each and every layer has been uh, converted into vectors. So here you can see there is some uh, white background format that left uh, when I removed the background. So you can see that I can just click on it, press hit. Just click on it, press hit like this. So you can do this and you can remove all these areas. So now I'm going to convert it into for uh, you know in the layer whole layer is there so if you want to remove it then it's okay now what i'm going to do i will change the color and you can take this color pixel uh, eyedropper we have actually it's a color picker so you can click on it and you can press whatever the color you want to take i want to take this one so you can see that the whole image has been converted into the vector and which is more similar to the original one so see that this is the simple technique that you can use to convert your images into vector format okay subscribe to my channel and i will come back to you with another tutorial so stay tuned and bye bye have a very good day